Hello, in this video I want to show you how to take two forces acting on an object and finding what's called the resultant. And the resultant is the single force that's equivalent in result as these two forces. So whether the body felt, whether the body had these two forces on it or this single force, it, it would feel the same thing, it would have the same result. These two forces are, well, an angle that's not 90, so this is a little tough to do. We're not going to do something this tough just yet. Let's go to uh, the second, third page. This is a little easy. Well, a lot easier. And, okay, here we go. So we have a problem where uh, we've got 10 newtons north acting on an object and 10 newtons east. And what's the result? What is the result of 10 newtons north combined with 10 newtons east? What single vector would be equivalent to having a 10 newton force on it and a 10 newton east on it? Obviously, it's something that would act in the northeast direction. So let's go down over here. There's, there's our object. Usually, you, you, you make a dot as the object. We made a square. So we're going to use the, what's called the graph, or I'm going to use the graphical method of solving this by drawing these vectors to scale, and uh, well, it'll all unfold. Let's see. So first step is to draw the diagram tail to tail. So let me show you what that means. Tail to tail. So we've got ten newtons north, and tail to tail means the vectors start on the object in point away from the object I'll show you. Actually, right away we can see I've got to use a scale that's not one to one because ten if it was one to one then the um vectors would be too long. So I'm gonna make a different scale. I'm gonna make it every centimeter equals two newtons and then my drawing won't be so big. So watch this. So if every centimeter equals uh two newtons then this should be five centimeters long. Here we go. So ten newtons north I'll start in the middle of the box mark off five right there and there's my 10 newton force going north yep 10 newtons north so it ends right there in the middle of the box straight up is north and we always draw our arrows just like that and we always label 10 newtons north the other force is 10 newtons east and east goes to the right you know it's 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 north west, east, south. So 10 newtons east. Well, that's also five centimeters because each centimeter represents two newtons working from the middle. Let's make sure we're really careful and go right to five and put this style arrow on it like this. Even let's color it. Let's color it in here. Yeah. Okay. So let's label it 10 newtons east. And notice we're working with a pencil. You've got to work with a pencil. Pencils are for, for pictures and plots. This is a picture. All right, so we want to find the resultant. And the way that you do that is you turn your picture of your two vectors that are tail to tail. This is the arrow head. This is the tail. This is the arrow head. This is the tail. This is a tail to tail connection. So the method I'm showing you only works when vectors are tail to tail, two poles. So. Turn this, this is the parallelogram method for finding the resultant. So off the tip of the arrow, well, let me stop. We're going to turn this into a parallelogram, this, these two forces into a parallelogram with some dotted lines. So if you remember from math class, a parallelogram, opposite sides are not only parallel, but they're equal. So if the bottom is 5 centimeters, the top has to be 5 centimeters too, and parallel. So let's put this on 0, and dotted line. Stop at five. The left is five centimeters, the right should be five centimeters. And so, right off the tips of the arrow, there. So, so we make our parallelogram, and now to find the resultant, you simply go, start from the box and go right to the other corner. And you have your resultant. This is the single vector that would have the same result or effect of those two vectors. And this is what physicists do all the time. They find resultants. They 
take a look at all the forces and boil it down to one force and it makes solving problems easier. So let's call this a resultant. Resultant. Okay, now, what is the magnitude and the direction of the resultant? Well, okay, so we simply, if, one's, if, if two, one centimeter equals two newtons, one centimeter equals two newtons, all I have to do is measure the length and I will know the magnitude. So start right from the middle of the box and we go to seven and seven centimeters, but be really careful. Seven centimeters means, oops, get this back on the screen. If every centimeter, centimeter equals two newtons, that means 14 newtons. The resultant is 14 newtons. So that's the magnitude of the resultant, but um, forces are vectors. So we have to find the direction and that's, the way we find the direction is always find the angle between the resultant and either east or west. This is close to east. So I have to find this angle right in here with my protractor. Okay. Now, put this right in the middle of the box. And what does it say? Is that 45 degrees? No surprise, right? That's 45 degrees. Because uh, if this is 10, then this is 10, and these two are 10. Um, this, the tan, inverse tangent of 10 over 10, inverse tangent of 1 is 45 degrees. Now, here's a double check that we did our picture right. Because this is a 90 degree right triangle over here, this is pretty messy, isn't it? Let me just clean this up. We have a right triangle. Do you see the right triangle here? And the hypotenuse is the resultant. So let's double check that I did everything right. Let me get this all nice do a little check over here. 10 Newton squared plus 10 Newton squared equals R squared. This is your right triangle where R is the resultant. 100 squared, 100 squared, that's 200 Newtons equals R squared. And the square root of 200 is actually about, well, it's about 14, just a little over 14. So pretty good. My result, let's go down here, is 14 Newtons, 45 degrees, well, let's take a look. It's north up, north of east. So 45 degrees north of east. And that is how you find and draw um, resultants when your forces are tail to tail and 90 degrees. These two forces are, of course, north is 90 degrees from east. And that, pretty sloppy work, huh? That is, um, that's it.